Hey guys, so it's been exactly a week since my procedures. Today is January 21st. Um, it's a Tuesday. So yeah, it's been a whole week. And I wanted to update you guys on... My glasses are crooked. I need this. Um, I wanted to update you guys on how I've been doing the last week. Um, just to give you guys an update. I know a lot of people have been asking. Like on my social media and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. So just to recap, I had uh, two procedures done. I had a pleurodesis, and then the pleurodesis essentially is when they go in um, to your pleural cavity. So like it's your chest wall, your lung, and then between your lung and your chest wall is the pleural cavity. So they essentially went into that pleural cavity and chemically irritated it. And what the hope is, sorry, I'm out of breath. What the hope is that during that process, scar tissue forms and so the lung adheres to the chest wall so if my lung was to tear again um i guess there's nowhere for it to go in terms of collapsing because it's already attached um i'm not sure i should have probably paid more attention to that but i was um incapacitated on medicine so yes um, so they did that and they did that through an incision that's right here, right below my breast. Um, and then they did a thoracoscopy where they went in through three incisions on my back and they put a camera down to my diaphragm and on my diaphragm is where they found the endometriosis tissue. Um, so a little bigger than a quarter, they exercised that. So they took it out and then they repaired that part of the diaphragm cause it was a little damaged. And so they just um, put stitches. So I have stitches in my diaphragm. Um, but a week later, how am I feeling? So I'm so short of breath, obviously. Um, talking, walking, um, taking a shower, um, all those things are relatively exhausting. Um, I'm tired, obviously. My sternum, uh, my, my chest, my throat were hurting for a while because I had to be intubated because I was under general anesthesia. And so like that was a doozy. And that pain brought like this horrible cough. So for the last five days, like after the procedure, I had this pretty gnarly cough that whenever it came, like it took my breath away, I had to sit down. And then now the cough is like a faux cough is what I've been calling it. It's kind of like a, <laughs> but it doesn't happen often. It happens like, so the pain gets worse at night for whatever reason and then it's cold out and Florida decided to have a freeze during this time so now that it's cold it's a little harder on me um but yeah short of breath exhaustion when I do most things pain at night I still can't lay down um it's crazy because I had a friend whose lung collapsed and he was able to lay down um but I can't lay down. Anytime that I lay down, my chest feels really tight. And like every time I breathe, it's like a crackling noise. It's really hard, weird to explain. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Um, the points of where they went in are still pretty tender and they hurt. So the one with the chest tube hole, because I did have a chest tube for three days after they did the procedure. And so that hole didn't have stitches. So it's healing. I guess how it's supposed to heal the ones on my back I think are bigger um, but they're covered with like glue and tape and they said that that would eventually fall off on its own with time like every time I take a shower and stuff and so I think now that I went from like recovering from the trauma that it did on my body into the recovery phase and like the healing phase and this pain is not that it's subsiding but that it just feels different and I guess it's subsiding, you know, a little bit day by day. Now the pain from my diaphragm is starting to say like, hey, I've been on the back burner, but I'm here. So now that pain's starting to come up. Um, it's like, imagine, I don't know if maybe I'm, it's just me because I, I'm very weak, very weak. Uh, but like, imagine if you run a lot and you know that pain you get like on your rib cage when you're just out, like you're done like you've ran you've walked too much 
that's how it feels like. Um, it's like that stabbing sensation. Um, I'm only taking medicine at night. During the day, I use my heating pad at this point. Um, and I'm sedent rather sedentary, right? I'm not running, I'm not walking excessively. Just soreness. Um, shortness of breath. I'm tired all the time. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of my scars or of my whatever you want to call them. So if you're squeamish or anything, please, you might want to forward like 20 seconds because I'm going to insert them now. Okay. So now that you've seen those, um, my IV sites are pretty much okay. Um, I have this gnarly bruise still from my A-line. So yeah, the pain now is just localized to like those spots um, where the incisions are, um, my sternum area, chest, um, my diaphragm, so right below my lungs, and then right underneath my breast is still really tender. The surgeon said that I would be out three to four weeks. And so I have my follow-up with the surgeon in two weeks now. And at that point, it'll be week three post-procedure and then he said that if by then I'm feeling better then he would be okay to clear me and then I could go back to work before the 30 days um I don't know how I'll be by then but I'll check in with you guys at that point and let you guys know how um I'm doing and what the surgeon said because he's the one that'll see my scars and all that stuff if you guys have any questions about the procedures that I got done Feel free to reach out through my social media and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Um, just as a recap, I the condition that I have is called diaphragmatic or thoracic endometriosis. Um, I have a video about my conditions um, that go way more in depth as to what they are, how they found it, um, and the journey that led me to where I am now. So if you guys have any questions, again, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it, guys. And I will see you guys on my next episode.